Right, this could be the fourth or fifth video. I made a slight detour by accident and get, came through a stables, but they put me on the right track, back on the Mendip Way. It was only a slip of one turn, I just ended up looping around a farm um, instead of coming up this track here. Um, this is the track I should have come up. But it's not very well signposted, so I can see why people are getting lost. So here we got Row Barrow Warren. And here we've got a sign, Shedder, five and a half miles. So, that's where we're heading now. <coughs> we're heading for Cheddar because... <sighs> that's the plan, to follow this m route now. Beautiful mind. <sighs> it's a gorgeous day, I feel a bit hot. Um, it's just a slight diversion that probably took me 10 minutes out of my way, but it actually saved me walking up a big hill by cutting across. Because um, there's so many public footpaths, but the Mendip Way signs had disappeared a long time ago. Um, so I don't know where they went. But I've got here now, and as you can see, walking down through the bunny lane, Five and a half miles to Cheddar, and uh, I should be able to do that and get back in time for a bus later on. I mean, I've left two hours later than usual, but last time I'd finished my walk by half past four, so I'm hoping there is a late bus. I've got a feeling there's always a bus, the last bus from Wells is at about 20 past 5 so if you add on half an hour in fact there should be a later one than that um, so yeah there's no way I was going to stay in because basically I'm going to Zara's tomorrow we're going to go for a little bit of a walk but I don't like not being out when it's nice weather let's just have a look up here because I'm nosy Oh yeah, there we go, there's the woods over there again, I can see a track. So we'll be joining that in a minute. Oh, I'm so pleased. Getting to know my way and I'll be back because I've got other routes that I intend practicing. But I'm not going to fiddle around um, going on a track that I've seen the other day. I'm leaving that for another time. When I, I'll do that when I do the row barrow route. When I come from Sanford, I'm going to do that other bit of experiment, which I'll probably do next week. All right, so we're joining the row barrow Warren. It's called. So I'm just going to sign off while I do some photos. So I've just come down from up there, there's the forest over there, with different tracks you can come down. I'm going to be following the Mendip way, but uh, the thing is with it, the signs do disappear I'm afraid. It definitely disappeared after I'd got to Shipham, I was following what was a, a well defined route. But um, basically what happened was, um, the signs disappeared, they just became public footpath. There was no mention of the West Mendip Way, so I was just guessing it was the right way. But I only made one small diversion, which just took ten minutes out of my time. Right then, I can hear a babbling brook. Now see, this is a typical place where the signs could disappear. But I seen this the other day when I was up the top. But I didn't bother going across the babbling brook. I was making my way down from the top there on another track and I seen this. But you see when you get here look when you get here you've got a route that way, not one sign telling you if that's the mendip way to follow. 
This is called Bristol Water Works. Then over here you've got another sign that. But over there it says cheddar, so we're okay. If you come over to this one, which I'm going to be doing another time, this will take me to Rowbarrow this way. Bridal path to Rowbarrow. Yeah, I'm going to do that another time. And of course, obviously, that way will take you another way as well. But I'm going to follow this sign. Five and a quarter miles. We've done a quarter of a mile. Cross the Babbling Brook. Look. There we go. Beautiful, isn't it? Like I said, I've seen this the other day. Yeah, I've seen this. I was coming, I was on a track up there, walking up there somewhere. That's less than a week ago. In fact, it's about three days ago. Because it's so close to where I live, you know, I can sort of hop on a bus anytime. Right, over in.